we have successfully displayed the data inside the form now what we are going to do now we are going to update that one if i want to do any changes we have to update that so for that we are going to write the logic we have already seen to get the input data whatever we have entered inside the input field one attribute is very very important that is name attribute so for that first we are just going to create the name attribute first for images we do not need for this hidden field i will just write here name and for this let me just write here date product id whatever you want you can give i am just giving a uh, proper names update product id then for this name also i am just going to give the same thing update product name name is equal to update update product same thing for price name is equal to update product price and finally this image also i have to update this image is only to display but this image is for updating so here again i'm just going to write name attribute name and inside this i'm just going to write update product image okay you can use the same naming convention so that it will be easy for you date product image and for this submit button also i'm just going to give one name attribute name name is equal to update product totally five name attributes we have given for hidden id for product name product price product image and finally for submit button once this name attribute is given only then we can access the value from the input fields now i'll just come on top and below this we will be writing our update logic i will just write one comment update logic first i am going to check if my update button is clicked only then whatever changes i have done inside the input field that data i have to access so here i am just going to check if is set dollar post using post method and inside this form this method attribute is very important post and inside this i am just going to give update product update product i will just come down you can see for this submit button we have given this name attribute so i am just passing the same thing here if my button is clicked only then i have to fetch all the data from the input fields so first let me just access the id update product id update product id is equal to i will be using this dollar post method and inside this i am just going to give the name attribute name update product id let me save this this one will be belonging to this okay this should be exactly matching you can give any variable name but inside this post method when you pass this data this should be exactly matching with this value next we are going to fetch product name let me just copy the same thing product name product image and for image as well product price i will change here product name i will copy same thing and inside this i am just going to paste previously also we have done same thing to get the data from the database copy and paste and for image we are having two things to do and when we are using this image we will be using this files and here i will just change product date product image and inside this we are just going to get first we are just going to get the name and here also let me just change it to image okay these are the basic modifications this should be perfect only then you will be able to update the product first i just want to get the image then again i'm just going to create one variable date product image 
and inside this i'm just going to write temp name okay i just want to access the temp name as well as i mentioned i have uploaded video on this how to upload images inside the database so to understand clearly you can refer that video i will be providing you the link in the description you can go and you can watch there i just want to access the temporary name inside this also i am just going to write files i will just give my update product image okay let me just copy this and inside this i am just going to paste so first what i have done i have just accessed the name of the image then using this temp name i just want to access the temp name inside this i will write temp name i will be closing this now this image whatever image i am updating that should be transferred to my folder so for that also i'm just going to create one uh, variable update product image folder product image folder whatever image i am getting from my system that image i have to transfer inside the images folder so i'm just creating this and this will be my images folder inside this i just have to transfer this image i will just copy and here i'm just going to concatenate and i will just paste the image and when we are passing this one we have to pass this variable okay where we have got the name of the image that variable we just have to pass here now let me just come here and inside this i will write here echo echo uh, name update product name i will save this okay what i have done i have just access all the data from the input fields and i am just displaying the name and first only what i have checked if my update product button is clicked only then i should be getting this data i will come i will refresh this one now i'll just change one laptop one i will click on update product okay this file also i have to select let me just select laptop itself so this file also we have to select so let me select laptop i will give okay price it is not going to change okay this data whatever i am mentioning here that will not be changed but i am just i just want to display this so i'll just click on update product you can see laptop one is displayed now successfully i am able to get the data let me just come and for this also i will just write here echo and update product id i will save this i will come here and i am just going to refresh now this product is not set again i will be selecting the image okay you can see here the id is 10 i will give here laptop 1 update product laptop 1 is displayed and before laptop you can see 10 is also displayed using this hidden field i am successfully able to get this id number now using this id number we are going to edit this products now which laptop is displayed what changes i have done that laptop is displayed let me click on edit now here you can see in my database i am having laptop but if i change it to mobile i will select one image let me select this one now when i click on update product you can see whatever updation i have done that data is displayed here i have written mobile so that mobile is displayed it is not going to display me laptop this is what i needed once i have done all the changes and when i click on update button this changes has to be stored inside the database as well okay now we have successfully got the data from the input fields next we are going to write update query and we are going to update products